Hey everybody, welcome to this video going over the rules, the format, and everything you need to know for the online qualifiers on the road to BlizzCon for World of Warcraft. So before you just jump into the war games, first you need to turn on some settings. You're going to be taking screenshots of not just these game results, but also map and composition lock-ins in your chat box when communicating to opposing teams. So first thing you need to do is you need to go to Interface, Social, and click on the drop-down box for timestamps and make sure to click on the very last option. All right, once you're done turning your timestamps on, head over to the chat box that's going to be present in every single screenshot. Right-click on the tab, go to background, and make sure the transparency dial is all the way down, as transparent as possible. Don't forget, tournament gear is required and can be purchased by Pixney Penny Pocket here in the Grand Arena, uh, right around the Ring of Trials. Here she is right here if you want to know what she looks like. And she sells all the tournament gear pieces your heart could desire for 50 gold a pop. All right, as soon as you have purchased your tournament gear and equipped it all, as you can see, it will look like it's completely damaged and needing repair here in the top right of your screen. Now, this is a good thing because tournament gear can only be used in war games. Uh, make sure that you're equipping your tournament gear before every single match and a good way to do this is by just opening up your character screen and looking to make sure that everything is read out. If you don't equip every single piece of your tournament gear uh, and you know you play out some games, those games will not be replayed. This is up to you guys to make sure that you're equipping every single piece. Alright, once you have your settings down and your tournament gear equipped, next you're going to want to war game the opposing team. Now to be able to do this, you need to add them on battle tag first. You can find their battle tag by going to their team page on the MLG website, scrolling down, and under roster, you'll be able to see all the battle tags listed. You want to make sure to delete the period in this scenario and replace it with a hashtag to be able to add them to your own battle tag friends list. All right, once each team is ready, you can then challenge the opposing team to a war game using this command in chat. Slash WG. The group battle or the group leader battle tag, which in this case uh, is going to be clutter. Now, when you're entering the battle tag in this command, make sure not to add the hashtag or any additional numbers. Just the battle tag nickname. Space, the map name, which on the very first map of every series needs to be in the grand arena, and then five. That five represents tournament gear being enabled, and then. Once each team is uh, confirmed that they're ready to go, just go ahead and send out that command, and a war game request should be sent out. There's the queue. It's popped. Join the battle, and there you have it. So once you enter the war game, make sure that tournament rules are on. As you can see here, there is a buff. Tournament rules active. Tournament rules are active for this match. Make sure, make sure, make sure that that is enabled. If that is not enabled, leave before the gates open. Once the game results have been posted, make sure to take screenshots of each and every game score screen. Uh, before you take a screenshot, make sure to add this information in your chat box. You need to add which team is facing which team. So in this case, it's admin team versus admin team 2. Game number 1 of the series and the date, as you can see. So all of this information needs to be added in the screenshot but not only that it needs to be added in a chat box that's completely transparent to be able to change the transparency of this chat box go to background and ch bring the dial all the way down to the minus timestamps are also required to be turned on you can find timestamps in social after the very first game of every series on the grand arena the losing team then gets the opportunity to lock in the next map choice Following this map choice, the winning team then locks in a composition, then the losing team locks in their composition. So the losing team ideally will be able to lock in a composition of their choosing once they already know what the winning team is going to play. I highly recommend you take screenshots of these conversations of map lock-ins as well as composition lock-ins in the event of a dispute. Her team composition is Survival Hunter Affliction Warlock. So I'm just going to say confirmed... Survival Hunter Affliction Warlock. These confirmations are for your own benefit, guys, in the case of disputes, but 
and I'm going to go ahead and ask them, are they ready? They are ready. And then from here, we'll send out another war game request. So the command is yet again, slash war game. Clutter is the battle tag. Then after that, the map choice has been blades, edge, and five to represent the tournament rules. Blades of Arena has popped, and we're going to go ahead and enter that yet again. This format needs to be followed not just for every game, but for every series. Both the winner and loser are required to report the results of the match. To report your match, click on the Report Score button on the Match Details page. Alright guys, that is going to do it for this video. I hope I cleared some stuff up for you. I hope this made uh, it a little bit easier to understand how uh, this entire tournament's going to go down. If you have any questions or concerns, make sure to go ahead and ping one of your admins. Admin Toxic, Admin Elbereth, Admin Clutter, and Admin D Machine. We are here to help you and answer any of those questions and be there for you for the entire event. Also, make sure, please, to read through this entire rule page. I know some of it's a little bit redundant. A lot of it you might already know. But uh, it's really, really important that uh, to have a smooth event that we go through this rule page and we all are very familiar with uh, the expectations of the players as well as everyone else. So uh, if you could do me a favor and read through all of this, specifically and most importantly, uh, games in a series, also screenshotting, uh, that would be very, very helpful to us admins. Thank you guys so much for signing up and competing in the very first cup of this tournament. There's two more after this one. So if you weren't able to get in and you're watching this video because you're extra prepared, kudos to you. But for those of you who are competing in the very first cup, I look forward to seeing you guys compete. And I'll see you in the game. Don't miss the broadcasts that are going to be going down on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Catch all the action at twitch.tv slash gcdtv on the early stages of the tournament. But for the main broadcast, that's going to be going down on Saturday. Head over to twitch.tv slash warcraft. Hit the follow button on both of these streams, guys, so you're catching every second of the action.